is it okay to work on the Sabbath? I don't think my job will understand if I try to talk to them why I shouldn't work on the Sabbath. Okay, so Betty, here, here's what it is. Uh, and, and many of you may not have heard about the Sabbath yet. And I, I apologize if, if this question is a little over your head. Um, we do have videos on the channel called Should Christians Keep the Sabbath Today? And Who Changed the Sabbath? But the bottom line is the Bible actually commands that we honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. The seventh day is the the seventh day is what we call today is Saturday. Specifically, it goes from sunset Friday to sunset on Saturday. It's a day that God has sanctified and set apart as holy. Well before the Jewish race even existed, we can go to Genesis two verse three, um, and it talks about God sanctified, which means He blessed, He made holy the seventh day of the week. Okay. Now, the question by Betty is, you know, I don't know if my job will understand. Well, the bottom line is we have a decision, Betty. Will we obey God or will we obey man? Okay, that's the bottom line. Our job doesn't need to understand. It's our decision. Our job can't make that decision for us. We should be willing to die to obey Jesus. That should be how strong our allegiance is. Even our lives. The Bible speaks about God's people in the last days. He said, it says they love not their life even to death. Now, you probably won't die by, not, by leaving your job on the Sabbath, by not working on the Sabbath. Um, some people have gotten fired. You know, that. who cares? At least you're obeying God. No, I don't want to be trivial about this. I know people have families they need to feed. I don't want to make this seem like a small deal. But the bottom line is God will provide. If you put him first, God will provide. Now, the good thing is, if you're if you're living in the United States, the first and the religious freedom, it protects your freedom to to worship God on the day that you choose. Okay, just you wanting Saturday off. Okay, this is a religious belief which is protected by the First Amendment, and so by law, your job is required to honor that. Um, religious observance okay by law they're required to now does that mean that it always goes easily and that no jobs give you a problem no there's been people that have had issues and they have to maybe send a second letter uh, some people even get a lawyer and they they have to um, make let the job know that they're breaking the law okay some people don't want to go through the trouble and they just get fired or they just get let go and they find a better job because God will always give you something better Okay, but God will lead you through that process. Um, many times people are able to keep that job um, just with that letter explaining to their boss and, and be nice about it. You know, the best way you can do it, 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 go about it, is be a great employee. Be hardworking, get to work on time or early. You, you, might, you might say, hey, I'll work on Sunday. You know, I'll work any other day of the week. You know, go above and beyond to show them that you're a great worker because that's a huge part of your testimony. Uh, for Jesus is how hard and how well and how smart you work. Okay. Um, but Betty, I just want to encourage you to put God first. Regardless, don't, don't put man first, put God first. Um, God promises to provide for all of your needs. Okay. Great question, Betty. If this video has been helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the next video for more clear Bible answers. And please consider becoming a Patreon for daily devotionals. May God lead and bless you on your journey.